right, my little munchkin scouts. It's the day we've all been waiting for. Camping day. Yay. But none of you sound excited. Yeah, that's because we're not. But you were when I asked you to come. Yeah, you said there would be free food. Well, there will be. Where is it? Oh, we just haven't picked it off the trees yet, sweetie, Antoinette. Anyways, let's uh, see what we have here. So, a polka dotted tablecloth to beautify our tent. Mm -hmm. Flashlight to interrogate each and every single one of you because I know you've been up to no good. Yeah, especially you. I'll explain later. A vacuum cleaner. Why do you need a vacuum cleaner? To clean our tent, sweetie. What tent? Oh yeah, oh geez, I forgot the tent at my apartment. We'll have to stop by there first. How do you fit all of that stuff in that tiny little bag? With fairy dust magic and love, Michael. Looks like we have just about everything here. We still need to stop by my apartment to get the tent. But uh, yeah, let's get going. Help me out here. Don't be shy, come on Antoinette. I could have driven myself. I have a truck. Where's the fun in that? I want to see you. You've seen me every day since I moved back in a month ago. It's a motherly thing, Hugh. I could never get tired of seeing you. I have a meeting with my first client today. You finished your training? Finished a week ago. I told you, remember? I didn't pay attention. Are you happy, Hugh? I'm happier than when I was living with James. So that means you're happy. I'm more than happy. I have a home now. Then why don't you look happy? People don't always look their emotions. Look, Hugh, I'm trying, okay? It's been great to have you back, and I know you're happy, but sometimes I wonder. I don't want to live anywhere else, Mom. I finally feel like I have a life. Maybe you should see James. It's been about a month. I think I annoyed him. What happened? I told him to get over Cassie. You can't just say something like that to someone, Hugh. I wonder he's upset with you. You have to be supportive of your friends, whether you agree with what they're doing or not. I know. Anyway, you should go. I love you. I love you too. Uh, Karen, those spreadsheets are uh, in, in your folder. Okay, thank you. Sure. Before you go, do you know what today is? How could I forget? One month. Since we took back the school. And what a great month it's been. So great. So great. Mm. I think everyone would agree, you know? Mm. It's just, it's so much happier since Warhorse left. And that's a surprise? <laughs> no. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Oh. The camping trip with McDonkey yeah. and the students. What about it? You signed off on it? Of course. It'll be a great experience for the students. With McDonkey. Think of the stories they will have to tell. Oh, huge airhead. He sent in an address relocation form. What did it say? Um, he has moved in with his mother. When did they move in? Uh, a month ago. Ask you to come and see me sometime today, okay? Sure. Thank you. Yeah. Anytime. You know, carpooling is fun, James. I hope we can do it more often. Yeah, me too. Have you taken driver's ed yet? Uh, no. I don't need to drive. But all your friends will think you're so cool! You know, I still don't know where you go at night. Well, do you need to know? Well, I need to know that you're safe. Well, I'm an independent young woman, James, and I can handle myself. I know. I just care. Yeah, well, I care too. But I don't ask where you live all the time. Because you know where I live. Well, what does that matter? I'm going to class. I'll see you later. Oh, ah, uh, sorry. That's okay. Uh, hey, you're the new kid, right? Yeah, I am. So, 
Why'd you come here, of all places? Same reason you all keep coming back. Because you have no choice. Or because my old school closed and I have to finish grade 12 somewhere. Oh, I'm James, by the way. Matt. Uh, <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> I have no idea. Are, are we business people? The most professional businessmen. Uh, oh, uh, do you want to have lunch sometime? I usually eat with my girlfriend, Stella. Ooh, girlfriend. I mean, as long as you don't mind third wheeling. Hey, if third wheeling could be put on a resume, it'd be all I'd have on there. Well, you're hired. <laughs> I'll see you then. Cool. See you, James. One, two, three, four! One, two, three, four. Munchkin Scouts are fun and more! Munchkin Scouts are fun and more! Sharing trade that makes you gain! Sharing trade that makes you think. Don't do drugs or smoke or drink! Don't do drugs or smoke or drink. Ha, too late for that one. All right, my little munchkins, now, to survive in the wilderness, you must know some basic survival tips. What are they? Food, water, shelter, entertainment. Michael, you're my little superstar. Good job. Lily. Do I have to? Do you want an extra credit or not? Water, comfort, air, and work. Well done, Lily. Antoinette. I need a husband with five mansions, an Oscar for best performance, other husbands that, that the main husband doesn't know about, and a new cell phone provider. Uh, yeah, okay, I, I think that you need a little bit more than that, okay? Anyways, uh, you all forgot two of the most important things for survival. The first is love, which I am here to provide, and the second is heat. How do we get heat, you ask? Uh, Guys, this is where you ask me the question. When can we go home? Lily, that is not very Munchkin Scout attitude of you. Now, in order to create heat, you need to make a fire. So that's what I'm here to show you today. Let me guess, you're gonna rub two sticks together. Ding, 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 ding. You're the winner. Now, uh, let me show you how. Nothing's happening. Okay, just uh, hold on there, Lily. Give me a sec. And there's your fire. That literally didn't do anything. Debbie Downer Michael. Okay, let me try again. You wanna see me? Yes, please come in and sit down. What is it? I just got your address relocation forms. Is something wrong? No, nothing. But I did notice that guardianship reverted back to Amelia Jared, your mom? Yeah, I'm living with her again. Everything's fixed. What about your dad? He's been in and out of the hospital since the accident. What accident? He was hit by a car. You never told me. You never asked. Well, you hardly came to see me after I got you out. No, I hardly came to see you after you made me move back. And you also never told me that you moved in with James in November. I didn't know I had to. I did everything I could to protect you, Hugh. Yeah, really show, especially after you suspended me for a month. That was a mistake and I know it, but all the records have been cleared. You want me to think you care about me? I don't want you to think it. I want you to know it. Not happening. I just did what I had to, to protect you and keep you safe. That's all. That's what I wanted then. And that's what I want now. You know how you can help? Leave me and my damn family alone. Wait, Hugh, listen. No, you listen to me. You're the reason that all this happened. You started a fire that just kept burning and I've been trying to put it out. Now that I have, you're trying to start it up again. I saved you. No, I saved myself. From your family. From you. You didn't do that. Yeah, yeah, I did. How did nobody catch you? I don't know. <laughs> Your boyfriend's growing up, Stella. Well, I, I was a different person then. The kind of person who hung out with Hugh? Yeah, we did some hilarious wrong things. Well, tell us another story. Wait till I get back. Where's your bathroom? Uh, it's uh, down the hall, first to the left.
You take your time. I gotta go. Where? Uh, my mom wants me home. Sorry. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. His mom wants him home. <laughs> your mom wants you home. I told you, James, I don't know where my mom is. You sound a little too confident about that, Stella. Seriously, where do you go at night? Some things are just best kept a secret. You shouldn't hide things from me. Yeah, I know, but this one's just different. You know, we still haven't had our first kiss yet. I don't know who you are. Is it that, or are you lost because of Cassie? How do you know who Cassie is? Um, you told me. No matter where Cassie is, Stella, you'll always be more lost than I could ever be. Good night, James. No note today. Sorry. He's on to us. You're about to put me in a lot of trouble. Alright, so we're safe out there. How we doing in here? I just want to sleep, Mrs. McDonkey. Well, lucky for you, my Michael, the Sleepy Time Train Express just pulled into the station. Toot toot. Nighty night, munchkins. One day, Mr. Chicken walked right up to Mrs. Timmy and said, Mrs. Timmy, why do you have a boy's name? Oh, that got Mrs. Timmy so darn toot and angry that she fluttered right up to Mr. Chicken and she said, it is the 21st century, buddy, and if a girl wants to have a boy's name, she should be able to do so without fear of judgment from society. What are you doing? Oh, I... I like bedtime stories. They help me to sleep, so I'm just telling a story. Can you not? You made us walk all day. We want to sleep. What's the magic word? Please. All right. Nighty night, munchkins. What was that? It was probably just the wind, Mrs. McDonkey. In the forest, there are animals. Go to sleep. I hope we don't get eaten by a lion. There are no lions in Manitoba, Antoinette. Okay, munchkins, uh, nighty night. Something smells good. I'm making cinnamon rolls. Mrs. Grimsley called me into her office yesterday. I hope you weren't in trouble. She wanted to talk about this. You mean you and I? She was afraid you hadn't changed. And what did you tell her? I told her you had. Then I yelled at her and stormed out of her she office. She had good intentions, Hugh. I don't want anyone to micromanage my life. And things are great between us. I mean, we have a healthy relationship. We live in a beautiful home. It Things weren't always like this. She just wants to make sure you're okay. I don't want her to. You don't want people to care about you? No. It's not a bad thing, Hugh. Go and apologize. When? The sooner the better. You've burned so many bridges lately. It's time you rebuild some. I haven't burned any bridges. a scrumptious sleep. I dreamt of soft kitties and puppies all night long. What time is it? Oh, 11.30. We slept in. Well, doesn't look like the other ones did, though. Hmm. Where are Lily and Antoinette? Hmm. 
Antoinette, what in Benny the Squirrel's name are you doing? Lily's gone. She disappeared. Vanished into thin air. She was probably eaten by a lion. There are no lions in Manitoba, Antoinette. What if she's dead? The trauma. I'm traumatized. Calm down, Antoinette. Calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. Hey, I am trying to be of help here. All you're really being is a reminder of the clown from the big comfy couch. You mean Lunette? No, no, I think she means Granny Garbanzo. I, yeah. It's okay, Antoinette. We will find Lily, I promise. This is all your fault. This stupid munchkin scout was all your idea. Okay, let's not play the blame game here, Antoinette. Let's just, uh, let's just start searching, okay? That's what I'm calling. Uh, Michael, excuse me. I thought that you left your phone at home. Yeah, I lied. Who are you calling? The school. <laughs> Wild Stallion Strip Club. Hello, can you transfer me to Mrs. Grimsley, please? Yeah, sure. Ray Grant. I was supposed to be transferred to Mrs. Grimsley. <laughs> oh good, I didn't want to talk to you anyway. I'll transfer you back. Society. You whiff it, we sniff it. You transferred me to Ray Grant, you idiot. Mmm. Um, who'd you want? Grimsley. Oh. Okay. Sure. Hang on. Do, 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 do. Hello, Miss Dickot speaking. Transfer me back. Screwed up again. Right. Hang on. There we go. That'll work. Probably. I don't know. Oh. Jules McDonkey guidance giver. You're right next to me. Oh, Michael, it's so nice to hear your voice. Transfer me back. Your parents must be really disappointed with you, aren't they? Karen Grimsley. Oh, hi, Michael. What? Lily's missing? John, we gotta go. Where are we going? We have to go save some children. Can we get some food first? Yeah, sure. You saw Lily in the tent last night. Maybe, maybe she was eaten by a lion. Oh, oh, yeah. for God's sakes! I'm just so concerned, Mrs. Grimsley. You know that Lily, such a good Munchkin Scout. She showed such promise. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna split off. Okay, mm -hmm. two groups. Mm. You and me, and you guys go together. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Munchkin Scouts, follow me. Why haven't I left this school? Yeah, I saw some pass. That way. We'll check those. I'm sure we'll find her in no time. Okay. I didn't think it was going to take this long. Where can a child go to hide? Not in my car, that's for sure. Mm -mm. Nope. You know, it's been hours. Maybe we should try calling her name again. Okay. Stella? I, I wasn't expecting you. You're right, James. It's not fair for me to hide who I am anymore. What are you talking about? Come with me, and I'll explain everything. I promise. Okay. Where are you, my little munchkin? It's no use, Mrs. McDonkey. We should pack it in. I have never given up on any of my munchkins before, and I do not intend to start today. I'm responsible for Lily. We are going to find her. 
Yeah, Michael. It's our fault, too. We should have been paying more attention. It's not our fault if Lily decides to walk away. It's our fault if we decide to leave her behind. Do you even like Lily? I like both of you! <laughs> you don't make that evident. You hide as much as possible. You're never happy to see any of us. You do nothing but ruin my self-esteem! God, why do I even hang out with you? I'm sorry. Lily! Lily! Come to me, sweet child! Where are you taking me? Is, is this where you live? It's en route. I, I, I'm still confused. That's okay. It'll all make sense soon. You know, Hugh said that you came to the school last November and that you were stalking him. That wasn't me. You admitted to it. Okay, well... It physically was me, James, but it wasn't me in any other way. Is this what you wanted to show me? Oh, God, no, come on. Bye. That sounds like a bat. Oh, my God. What if this bat ate Lily? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh, my goodness, I hear something. Some man named Steven with abs of steel and stuff. Well, this is our tent. What? Oh, uh, uh, sorry, I know I should have put lights on it. But... Can somebody help me out? Whose voice was that? God? It wasn't Steven. Someone's in the tent. Lily, where have you been? Where have you been? I've been here all day. I went for a walk this morning, and you were all gone when I came back. Here. This is me. It's a, it's a street lamp on a roadside. Yeah. Y you're a street lamp? No, I'm not some cheesy seventh grade metaphor. Look at the lighting on my face. It's beautiful. Look closer. You can't see half of my face. Half of my face is dark. You see me, James, but you don't see me. You look one way, there I am. Look the other way. It's a part of me that you haven't and cannot see. You only see what the street lamp lets you. But I don't give a damn about street lamps anymore. You're, uh, you're scaring me a little bit here, Stella. I'm sorry. But this is me. This is who I am. Hugh thought I was some weird stalker last year. Some nutcase who was just following him around. But I'm not. I had a reason to. It was all the start of an infiltration. He was the first person I saw. I was eavesdropping. He had nowhere to go. He was lost. He was the one I had to find. You can come live with me. What? I couldn't give up. I found my perfect candidate, and if I stopped then, then there would have been consequences. Hey, hey, what's doing? More importantly, what's doing with you? I felt like I almost had him. I didn't care what he thought of me, but of course, people catch on. Stella? Is that you? Where have you been? You've been reported two months missing. I got in trouble for that, and I realized that I needed a way out. I had to negotiate with my boss. 
it took months. But he agreed to let me free of this operation as long as I attended Millworth and left him daily notes. It was still an infiltration. And that's what brought me here. This is where I drop off the notes every night. This is who I am. I'm part of an operation that promised me protection, took me away from my family, and led me to this lost state. I can't even speak about my life anymore. I'm lost. James, I'm lost. Calm down, calm down. You can get out of this, it's, it's not too late. Just walk away with me right now. It's not that easy. Yes it is, just walk. You don't understand. Who's in charge of this? Stella? Who's that? That's him. He's in charge. Is that? Yeah. Why is he? It's a long, long story. This is how you knew about Cassie. Yeah. He's not going to do anything. Let's go.